Now tonight we have some great artists for you. We're starting off with Mengisto, who will be with us soon. And also some bands, we've got Richard Maddy, we've got Tilt at Windmill, and we've got a new one, Mexico Indigo as well, which haven't actually performed with Mega Music Management yet, but this is their first one with us. I will introduce now Simon Martin, who's my booking agent for Mega Music Management, and he's going to introduce our first act. Thank you. Hi everyone. Right, so without further ado, I'll introduce our first act, which is going to be Mengisto. Uh, originally from Zimbabwe, he's been living in the UK for seven years now. Uh, we've been writing since he was eight years old. Uh, played some top venues such as uh, Jazz Cafe and Ronnie Scott. So without further ado, let's put your hands together for Mengisto. <laughs>
My real name is Elvis. Elvis? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love that name. Everybody loves that name. Yes. Okay. So why did your mum, dad decide to be Elvis? Actually, it was my grandfather. Because he, he was an Elvis fan. Funny enough. So he had pictures of Elvis. And uh, I guess he, he also thought I was going to be Elvis. So he called me Elvis. <laughs> Great stuff. Any regular trips to Graceland? Have you been there? Uh, yeah, I was there once and uh, people were kind of offended I was Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> bet they were. Yeah, they were like, okay, right. Yeah, okay. But, yeah, other than that, it's been good. Yeah, people love the name. Always fucks up conversation. Ha has he been like any, has he been like a major influence for you in your music? Um, I don't really particularly listen to Elvis, but, you know, a few songs that I listen to. But I'm mainly into jazz. Uh, the uh, African music, not different kinds of stuff. Now you've been the first performer here on our fantastic night. What did you think? Did you enjoy yourself? I did enjoy myself. I was very nervous. You, know, uh, you didn't show it? Uh, well, <laughs> I tried not to. You know, it was the first performance after a long time, so it was uh, nerve-wracking. Uh, it's, it's always uh, nerve-wracking to perform in front of uh, a small crowd. So. And are you hoping to do some more shows with mm. Bank Music Management? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm looking forward to the next one. Yeah, okay. Because you're doing the, the Soul House night that we've got at the Tree House on the 20th of May, is that right? That's correct, yes. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. I'll be even more prepared for that. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you're doing a pretty good job tonight. Okay. We've got um, other sort of R&B artists that will be performing on that night. So R&B music is really, it's taking a great trend now with artists like CeeLo Green um, and also Bruno Mars is really coming out now. Um, this old Motown type vibe is really coming back. Um, are there any artists that you really do listen to in that sort of league as well? I do listen to Bruno Mars. I've got, actually, I've got him as uh, on my ringtone. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'll listen to that later. Yeah, Grenade, I've got that on my, uh, on my ringtone. And I mostly I listen to people like Bruno you know, Maxwell. I do? Yeah, I listen to Bruno you know, Maxwell. I listen to a lot of uh, Angel Stone and stuff. You know. I'm kind of chill about stuff. Yeah. Lots of African stuff, that's why my music is uh, it's a bit, it's got a bit of an Af African influence to it. Yeah. Well, Elvis Mengisto, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.